I made my hugo mound beds too steep. I wanted to add a layer of compost on top of the topsoil, but it just fell off. So I decided to reshape the beds and make them wider. Before starting on the house, we decided to create a little greenhouse, so we can attain some extra building practice and have a place for seed starting. I'm looking for some small trees that are useful for weaving hazel branches around so we can create a wall that will be finished with a clay plaster.
I finally managed to finish my biggest woodcut project so far. The many details took a lot of time to get ready. So I haven't been doing a lot of printmaking the last weeks. I only finished my big woodcut called Starema Spa House. But besides that, I didn't do any carving. So it's gonna be time to start a new project. And I was thinking maybe to start like a... I'm thinking about making a handmade calendar maybe inspired by the permaculture principles so there are 11 principles that are distilled in the design philosophy within permaculture and perhaps also inspired by the interaction i have with the land here and the environment of the island so that will be interesting We have finally finished harvesting all the trees for the house. Now they had to be prepared, debarked and charked on the bottom. It took many afternoons of continually burning to get them ready.
Kijk eens in die rol voor me. Oh maar ja, ik zei het nog zo hard. Rechtoria, dan moet je hier kunnen draaien en moeilijk doen. Je moet een bocht te kunnen maken. En als je het nu zo doet, dan is die zo goed als recht. Als je die zo splijt, dan gaat dat. Als dus je op teksten de hele tijd duwt, gaat hij normaal terug vanzelf terug naar de gang. We're gonna go for another round of seaweed, so we're gonna head to the sea and collect some more so I can make more garden beds to grow some potato and onions and garlic, so that's really exciting, so let's go!
terug, kees. Ja, kut. Heb je een epeltje gepakt voor u? Nee. Een kwart dan op. Ja. Liefke is een fratzak. Mm. Zeg. Moeite in het leven. Wat? Moeite in het leven.
ist sicher. Ja. The sun is coming out slowly, slowly, some days, most days it's still very cloudy and still pretty cold, around 1-2 degrees Celsius, Celsius. So we have been doing a lot of things here, mainly we started on the, on the little greenhouse. I hope to finish it by the end of April at least, so I can get the garden started. Because at the moment I have no place for seed starting, I have no room or no light <laughs> and no shelter for the plants to survive. So it would be really good to have a little space to do so and to grow some tomatoes and other plants as well. We're also on the search for straw bills for our house and we hope we can find them but we're not so sure because on this island there doesn't seem to be a lot of land or grain production so we only see hay like the big round hay ball bales but not the straw bales the rectangular ones that we need for the building of our house so either way it's not a good idea to use straw bales or we might have to look a bit harder. So we just contacted a, a lady or a couple that lives on the neighboring islands and they have built a straw bale house for summer house I think and we hopefully can visit them and ask them some questions like where they got their straw bales from and so on. So hopefully we manage that, otherwise we have to look for another wall option. <laughs> One of the most precious things about living here is the, the silence. It's so enclosed. In this corner of the garden will be like the chickens, hopefully someday, very soon. I have contacted a local farm here on the island and they have a, a breed of native chickens local to the area for many many years already so that's interesting i hope to get my hands on some little chicks so here all the poles of the house are waiting to be used they're finally burnt charged on the on the downside and we put some rubber to protect them from the from below so that's exciting to see and I think we will re really soon start on the foundation of the house. Greenhouse is coming along. We're also thinking about adding a compost toilet on the back of this building. So we will add some more poles and walls. And have a little compost toilet over there. That will belong to the house. So every time I need earth, I take it out of this future pond. I need a lot of earth to put on my hugel beds and the last one still needs two layers of really good topsoil so it all comes from here so it's a really exciting feeling I also hope to meet some local farmers during the springtime so my plan is to reach out to some farms and maybe also a uh, local abbey and to see if I can visit them, if I maybe can work one day with them or two days to see how they are doing things, what their stories are and how they created their environments and their systems so I would be really interested to hear how they, the local farms and people have been doing it for a long time and I will make sure to take the camera with me so I can document some of the things and practices I see around me could be interesting. Yeah, 
ಹಾಕ್ಲಿ ಧಕ್ಕೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಯು